The most precious resource after the fall was knowledge. The more critical, the more specialized the knowledge, the more valuable it was. So doctors of any kind were a hot commodity. And if you wanted medical attention now, you probably had to make a deal with the cartel. Despite its podunk appearance, Needles was actually a very progressive town. Specializing in ethanol not only gave them a valuable commodity, it earned them a place on the cartel trade routes. That's why the cartel converted their vehicles to run on ethanol. It was easier to produce than gas. And in a world without a corporate agenda, the most efficient energy rules. But even with a strong mutual need, the relationship between Needles and the cartel turned out to be completely one-sided, due in large part to Larry Fishman, the local cartel rep. We'll be back in 48 hours to collect another thousand gallons of eth. Wait, that wasn't the deal. It is now, if you want those supplies. Fishman had the town under his thumb, all right. But there was a fly in the ointment. The doctor Fishman delivered to town was already having second thoughts. Said he'd just learned the assistant he'd been promised wasn't available. Look, nobody's expecting miracles. All you have to do is give the guy some shots, calm him down, just make it look good. Or you can keep whining and I'll leave you here to rot. Watching this whole drama unfold, I saw there was a window of opportunity to make a deal. Told them how I'd traveled with Gwen for two months, picked up the basics of first aid, even delivered a baby. If you need an assistant, I'm your man. What do you want? Enough supplies to cross the Mojave. Done. His name was Josh Benson, a Long Island native with a caustic wit. Said he was impressed by my chutzpah, but not my experience. Delivering a baby is child's play compared to what we got in store. Josh told me the lady supposed to be his assistant had both arms and her back broken by our new patient. If any lawyers survived, I'm sure there's gonna be a lawsuit. It was about then I realized that window of opportunity was actually a trap door. And in my haste to make a deal, I'd fallen right through. 